Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're going to be doing a bullet journal for April. So April, it just reminds me of Sakura Leaves and I saw on Twitter that there was an anime adaptation for Tokyo Mimu and I was super excited about it. Here's the poster of it right here. I'm kind of upset that Mimu has her red hair when she's transformed because in the original one, she had pink hair when she transformed, but her red hair is her human form. But I think I'm okay with it overall. But yeah, I think it's gonna be okay since I'm basically just reliving my childhood memories again with the new anime adaptation, and I just can't wait for it and wait to watch it. So without further ado, let's go on to my bullet journal video. So for the front page of April, I wanted to represent the Tokyo Mimu Cafe that all the Mimus work at and hang out at after school, since they all go to different schools. They're actually required to work there by a rich and smart high school boy named Ro Shirogana who is dedicated to the Mew project, and this Mew project was created by his parents. So the Mew project is about injecting in your species into the body and attaining powers to fight back the chimeras. And Ro tried this but he didn't have the right gene so it didn't fully work on him. And if I can remember, I think there was an earthquake that happened and it made the machine for injecting endangered species into the body shoot out of the cafe and hit the five girls Ichigo, lettuce, mint, pudding, and zakuro. I should also mention that the cafe is the Mimu's base so that's why the machine is in there. So I will talk more about the Mimu's later in the video but for now I need to focus on talking about the front spread of April before I go on. And since the theme I'm going for is Mimu Cafe, I have a reference photo where instead of drawing the characters and copying it, I just find sweets that look easy and cute to draw. Well, all sweets are cute to draw but the simplest ones are the ones I'm going for. So. For this spread, I chose to draw some cookies, a macaron, tiramisu, and pudding. I also added some strawberries to represent Tokyo Mimu since in every manga cover there are strawberries in the background in different colors. Since I want to make it more related to Tokyo Mimu, I drew their mascot Masha. And his name is originally named R2000. He's a little cute robot made by Ro and Keijiro. Keijiro is basically Ro's best friend and their childhood friends. Masha's role is to help the Mimus defeat chimeras by detecting them and aiding the Mews with their powers. Other than being helpful to everyone, he is always with Ichigo. Since Ichigo goes to school, Masha is able to shrink himself into a keychain, so whenever a chimera is nearby, he is able to tell her. And for the month name, I kept it very simple. I was hoping I could make the letters a bit fatter, but I guess I need to practice on that and I haven't written with the marker in a while, so yeah. And of course, since the pages bleed through, I glued the two pages together so it will be like a little bookmark for the month of April. I'm using this glue, um, that's a tomboy glue I used for scrapbooking when I was a historian for my club in college and I still can't believe I graduated college last year and I didn't even get to celebrate it properly but that probably goes for everyone who graduated in 2020 and possibly this year too. But after the pandemic, I'm hoping to travel to Japan, Vietnam, and Korea, hopefully by the end of this year or most likely next year. Now going on to my habit tracker, I drew everyone's weapon including Mewberry. There's also another weapon I should have drawn but I never read a sequel and there was this girl named Ringo and she basically looks like Ichiko with red hair. When I searched up where she came from, it was from a story called Petite Mimu and I never read it before but maybe after I finish reading Tokyo Mimu, I'll probably read it most likely but maybe. So I decided to go for a different style of habit tracker. Instead of coloring them in all the way, I'll just mark them in a circle. But then again, it still looks like I'm coloring them in, but overall it looks pretty cute.
Now for my mood tracker, I decided to draw all the characters from Tokyo Mimu and on a cake. This cake is shown in the anime and the manga, and I also added Mew Berry since she is one of my favorite Mimus out of all of them. So fitting 30 strawberries onto one cake is a bit tough, but I managed to do it somehow. It kind of looked like teeth, but overall, I think it looks pretty cute to me. Now for my mood, I chose the color red for when I'm happy, the color purple red for when I'm sad, and the color pink for when I'm okay. Here's a close-up look at them and they look pretty derpy. And here are all the characters that I drew beforehand. And going back to introducing everyone and how Tokyo Mimi came together, they are all at a certain place, which I believe is a museum, all by coincidence. I think there was an earthquake that made Rose machine gone wild and it shot the powers up in the air going into Ichigo, Mint, Lettuce, Pudding, and Sakuro, which I told you guys beforehand, but yeah. They all went their separate ways after that and just went along with their lives like normal until it wasn't. I don't remember when Ichigo first used her powers, but I think a chimera showed up at school and forced her to transform. Since Roshi Rogana was nearby, he was able to help Ichigo use her powers properly, and that was the start of creating Tokyo Mimi. After that, Ichigo's mission was to get the Tokyo Mimi group together, and it was easy to find them with their Mimi tattoos. They all had different ones somewhere on their body, and for Ichigo, it would be on her inner thigh, for Mint, it would be on her back, and for Lettuce, it would be on her chest. Pudding tattoo is on her forehead, and Zakuro's tattoo is on her stomach. Also, it's pretty funny how everyone doesn't recognize their transformation versus their human self and yeah, it's just magical girl things. So after outlining everyone, I just did the borders for each character for my journal. So enjoy this montage! Finally, we're getting started on coloring the characters. This time, most of my Crayola markers match everyone, and I was pretty happy about it. I was planning on using watercolor, but I was waiting for my cousin to find her palette first before I buy it on Amazon, and maybe on my next bullet journal, I'll be using it, even though it might be a bit hard. Next is Mint, and I'm pretty sad about how her mouth looks since I messed up a bit because of the smudges. And a fun fact is that one of my oldest cousin, Kali, this is her favorite Tokyo Mimi character and I understand why since she is very elegant and very cute with her space bun, like she's a trendsetter. And next we have Lettuce, she is adorable too since she is shy but she can also kick ass with her shell-like weapon clampy clamp things. Yeah, not really sure what I should call it. Now we have Pudding. When I was little, Pudding used to be my favorite character because she is the youngest and I am the youngest out of my trio cousin. And she is also yellow. I used to be obsessed with the color yellow but someone pointed out that yellow is a pea color and that made me change my mind and I changed my color to blue instead. I always liked blue so I guess it was fine for me but the me right now like pastel colors like anything that's from pastel blue, yellow, green, purple, pink, you name it. But Everywhere I look, all I see is pastel pink and I cannot stop myself from buying more pastel pink stuff. Now we have Zakuro. Zakuro in English means pomegranate in Japanese. And one of my friends that I met through college is really into the color purple and her favorite character from Tokyo Mimi is Zakuro. And it just fits her so well. Every time I see pastel purple, I either think of my cousin Jane, who's always commenting on my videos and posts, like shout out to you cousin, or I just think of her. Now going on to Miberi, she is my favorite character because she is part bunny and part cat. When I was little, I used to be obsessed with bunnies. Like whenever I would go to my cousin's Kali house, there would be a house where bunnies just roam around in the front yard and I would always look out for the house. I was thinking of getting a pet bunny but if I get one, I need to get two since I heard they can die from loneliness but I may be wrong and I also have a succulent and my dog Daisy to take care of right now so I think that will be like a lot of responsibilities on top of everything. Now we are finally done with the Tokyo Mimi spread for April. I really liked how it turned out even though I messed up on one page like for puddings page I accidentally dropped the glue on it and now it looks like that but we don't look at that yet. But overall I really like how it turned out. 
so now that you guys have made it to the end of a bullet journal video i hope you guys enjoy it um it was really fun to do like drawing all the characters drawing their weapons just everything about tokyo mimi and it's all very very cute i'm really happy with how it turns out and question of the day what is your favorite tokyo mimi character let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe too and i'll see you guys next time in my next video bye